Today's video is a partnership with Elementor and we are going to have a look at the Elementor's 3.22 update, which is the element caching feature. But first, I want to give you an introduction to Elementor Hosting. So Elementor Hosting is a web hosting service specifically designed for users of the Element Page Builder. It is optimized for Elementor. It is pre-configured to ensure optimal performance for Elementor build websites, it includes all necessary plugins and settings for a smooth experience. It has integrated solutions combines hosting WordPress and Elementor in one package, simplifies the setup process, making it easier to get started quickly. It has a high performance, fast loading times and reliable uptime, utilizes advanced caching and CDN to enhance site speed. Security is included and it has features such as SSL certificates, regular backups and malware scanning. It keeps your website safe from threats and data loss. It has 24 seven support, access to Elementor support team for assistance with both hosting and Elementor specific issues. Help ensure your site runs smoothly at all time. So let's get into it because this is very interesting. So first of all, what is element caching? Caching is a method of saving a ready to use version of your website's features like widgets in our case. So they load much faster for future visitors. So this way, uh, the same website that did not use element caching in the past, now using element caching can see a 70% improvement in performance, which is absolutely great. So the time to first byte TTFB is much shorter, making the websites much faster. And this is something that Google is so adamant and they really want websites to be faster. So normally when a widget is loaded, so let's say a contact form, for example, is loaded, it takes some time to gather all the information. So we don't see this happening. It's happening on the server, but we see white blank page, right? And that is not good. So in this way, if we are uh, using the element caching feature, then this ready to use version is saved on the server and it's served to the visitor when the website is loaded. So it's, it is much, much faster. So this feature should be used on static elements, not on dynamic ones, because otherwise the information probably will not be displayed correctly. So this feature is by default set on containers, intersections, columns, and the off Canva widget. So this you cannot change. Other widgets you can. So let's have a look into that. In order to activate this feature, you have to be in your dashboard in the back end of your website and go to Elementor settings and navigate to features and scroll a little bit down and you will see element caching performance feature here. I have it already activated. You have to activate it and save the changes. And as you can see, this is currently uh, set a status of development because Elementor is working on it. So we need to have patience, see what Elementor can develop this caching feature into. Who knows, maybe in the future, hopefully near future, we will not be needing any caching plugins. That would be amazing. So that's how you activate this feature. So I'm going to go to my dashboard, back to my dashboard. I have a page set up here for this purpose. And let's have a little bit of a look to see how you can set this caching feature on elements. As you might remember, I said that the the caching plugin is set uh, by default on some elements such as containers. So I'm going to add a container here. All right. And the way you normally would set this caching element active or inactive on elements is by going to advanced and looking for, for it here. But it is not here. As you see, this is by default set. Right. So let's add another widget, a widget that is not that has no element caching set by default. And I'm going to go with the icon and let's go to advanced. And if you navigate all the way down, you 
you will see that you have cache settings and this is the feature that we are talking about here right and if you want to learn more about it you can simply um, click on learn more but right now it's set to default as you see it in the features backend of Elementor, but you can set it inactive or active from here. So if you don't want this to be cached, then you can set it in active and publish and that's it. All right, let's go back to the dashboard and let's go back to Elementor to settings and all the way to performance this time. So as you can see, we have the element cache expiration time here or period duration. <laughs> that was the word. So you can set this to from one hour to one year and you can see clearly what this means. So this is where you control this cache expiration duration and of course save your changes. And that's it. Simple as that. If you'd like to see what else you can build with Elementor, watch this playlist here or here. And if you have gotten any value out of this video, please consider subscribing, liking and sharing this video. And I'll see you next time. Bye.